Today, I'm delighted to announce that WHO is in discussions with a consortium of companies and institutions to establish a technology transfer hub in South Africa. The consortium involves a company called African Biologics and Vaccines, which will act as the hub both by manufacturing mRNA vaccines itself and by providing training to a second manufacturer called BioVac. In time, Afrigen could provide training to other manufacturers in Africa and beyond. The Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will provide guidance through the Partnership for African Vaccines Manufacturing. WHO is facilitating this effort by establishing the criteria for the technology transfer, assessing the applications, developing standards, and providing ongoing support and training. We are now in negotiations with several companies that have indicated interest in providing their mRNA technology to the hub. It's important to emphasize that this is an important step that will yield results in the medium term. In the short term, we need to do everything possible to increase the equitable production and distribution of vaccines through COVAX. It's really a joy to join you, Dr. Tedros, in this landmark announcement because today marks an important milestone towards the achievement of one of the critical objectives of the African Union's Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. The ability to manufacture vaccines, medicines, and other health-related commodities will help put Africa on a path to self-determination. This will enhance our capacity to take responsibility for the health of our people, for the health of Africans. We will be able to plan for the entire value chain from training a critical mass of young people, enhancing and maintaining our supply chain and ensuring the efficient use of medicines. As South Africa, we intend to pursue these objectives in close cooperation with other countries on the continent, enhancing regional trade and investing in science and innovation. Today is historic, and we see this as a step in the right direction, but it does not detract us from our original proposal put together by India and South Africa that we should see a waiver of trips at the World Health Organization. And we would like the negotiations that are taking place there to proceed with speed because as you correctly said, Dr. Tedros, people in Africa are facing a rising wave of infections. In South Africa, we are facing a third wave, which seems to be more severe than the first and the second one. And the only defense that we have is to have vaccines. We therefore thank the WHO for taking this bold step and commend member states for moving us from discussions to real work and realistic development. This is the start of the progress process.